Hungarian folk tales. The king who did not want his daughter to marry. Once upon a time, there lived a king, a very rich king, in a castle. He had a beautiful daughter. He loved her so much that he did not want even to let her leave the castle, lest someone should take her from him. One day, however, the princess begged her father to let her walk out a little. He allowed her to do so, but not for long, so that no harm would come to her. As she was walking through the flowery meadow, she realised that a young man was approaching her. It was the son of the neighbouring country's king. Both of them were so good-looking that they fell in love right away. They agreed that the prince would go home and set out at once to call on the girl's father and ask for her hand in marriage. The princess went home and told her father where she had walked and whom she had met. Her father grew terribly angry and nervous that someone might take away his precious daughter. He told his daughter that he'd rather put a curse on her forever than give her to the prince. He sent a messenger to the other king, telling him not to come and ask for the hand of his daughter. But if he still wished to come, he should do so with an army that could defeat him and take his castle. The prince had already set off to the king when the messenger arrived. The king gathered his soldiers and sent them with his son. The army set off. The other king's castle was high up on a hill from where they noticed the approaching army sent by the enemy king. The king called together all his men to defend the castle against the enemy. When the approaching army reached the hill, they sent a messenger to ask the king to give his daughter without further ado. The king sent back a message that he would not do so for anything in the world. They attacked the castle and lay siege to it. Then they noticed that there was no one on the inside fighting them. The lord of the castle said he did not wish his men to die, so anyone who wanted to leave was free to do so. When the army attacked the castle, all the men inside left through underground passages, leaving only the king and his daughter behind. The princess said she would not leave because she was so in love with the prince that there was nothing she wanted more than to be his wife. The father begged her in vain, but she would not leave. Then her father cast a spell on her, turning the princess into three types of animals. The spell could only be broken if a young man kissed the three animals in turn. Meanwhile, the enemy had managed to make its way into the castle. They searched for the princess but could not find her anywhere. The prince was desperate. He didn't know what to do. He let his men go home and asked them to tell his father that he would not go home until he managed to find the princess and take her with him. He looked for her high and low, but in vain. He went out of the castle and wandered in the forest. He sat down and was thinking what to do when an old woman approached him. Dear Prince, the old lady said, I know what your problem is and I also know how to solve it. The old woman was no less than a witch. Tell me, old lady, I'll give you anything in exchange, but I must know the answer. The princess will come out of the castle every moonlit night and whatever shape she comes in, rest assured, it is her. You must kiss these creatures three times in a row, and then the spell on the princess will be broken. The prince, who was prepared to do anything, waited for nightfall in the hope of seeing the princess. As the moon came up in the sky, he saw a little bunny rabbit hopping in front of the castle. He took a few steps in its direction, but the bunny did not move. He embraced it and kissed it three times, and the bunny vanished. No sooner had it disappeared than a big lion walked through the gate of the castle. Although the prince got cold feet, he remembered the old woman's words. So he approached the lion, embraced it and kissed it three times, and the lion did him no harm. Then it disappeared too. 
Hardly had the lion gone when the prince saw the castle surrounded by flames. A seven-headed dragon emerged, spitting fire from all of its mouths and lighting up the nearby forest. The prince took fright. This surely can't be the princess. But the dragon approached him relentlessly, showing him the huge keys in its hands as if to spur him on and say, Never fear, sweetheart. Then the prince went up to it, embraced it and kissed it three times, upon which the dragon turned into the princess. They both rejoiced and she gave him the keys. Now I am yours and with me all the wealth in this castle. They entered the castle and she showed him all the riches. Luckily there were six horses there, so they put them before a carriage and drove to the prince's father, the king. There they held their wedding right away, yet the bride did not seem very happy. The prince asked her what the problem was. I can't be happy until my father is here beside me. The prince said to her, well, we'll find him somewhere. They didn't have to look for him for too long, as he was already on his way there. He learned that the prince had broken the spell cast on his daughter, so he came to see her. The old man was led to his daughter. They saw each other, embraced and rejoiced upon finding each other at long last. The old man made his peace with his daughter and the wedding feast went on and on and on.